All right, over here are the mode buttons. Right now we're in program mode. And there's combi mode, which is 16 programs, which you can layer them together or put them on different karma channels. The sequencer is very similar to a combi, 16 programs and their faders and knobs. Sampling mode, global, and this is where um, if you want to skip ahead in the tutorial because your screen is not calibrated, you can do that. This is also where wave sequencing and drum kit programming is done. So I will cover that in global mode. And uh, disk mode, of course. Right here is the jog dial. So if I have uh, something highlighted, I can jog and increment up. I can also use the increment up and down arrows. And if I am, let's say, in a program and uh, I'm adjusting values and I want to make a big jump, I can adjust the value slider. Now let me compare that since I messed that up. If you are lost uh, amongst the myriad of pages, don't know where you're at, you can simply exit out to the top. It might take uh, up to three presses, but uh, you can always back out. All right, here is the numerical input. So if I want to jump to a program, program two, I can just press two, enter, and there I'm at. All right, moving over here, we have the sequence transport controls. Uh, these also work with the hard disk recorder, so start, stop, record. Here is the tempo uh, knob, which let's pick a drum program. And we can adjust the tempo of that. Pretty self-explanatory. From 40 beats per minute to 240 beats per minute. But something else you can do if, if uh, you're trying to sync up to uh, another song or some other beat, you can use the tap tempo button. So just by tapping on the down beats of what you're trying to sync to, so let me try this. Oh, too fast. One, two, three, four. Now I get to the beat where I want. Want to make it faster? One, two, three, four. So that's kind of handy. Uh, next to those are the sampling record start stop buttons. Of course, you have to be in sampling mode to get them armed. Now I'm armed because uh, my uh, recording level indicator highlights. So if I were to take the microphone, for example. Hey, baby. Oh, well, it's routing. Uh, I want to make that uh, centered. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. And center is 64. And now I have a, an even level on both left and right. I'll be picking that up a few more times. but uh, And then I would press the start button to uh, start sampling. All right, so let's back out of that. Now coming over here, we have the eight rubber pads. These are under velocity sensitive mode right now, or they can be put to fixed velocity. So no matter how soft I press, they're at a certain velocity. And that can be really handy if you are trying to accent some notes because there are up to eight notes can be on one pad. And if you want to adjust uh, the velocity, you can input from the key, hold down the enter button and just press how hard you want the velocity to be. And uh, same with notes. Uh, you can hold down the enter key and change the note to what you want. You can do it for each note. It's pretty simple. These work great if you are in uh, a combination mode or a song mode and you want to trigger some effects other than uh, the sound that you're playing those pads can be on their own channels all right moving to the left side of the keyboard here we have the 
karma buttons. Now if I turn karma on, I'll have that drum pattern back. Sometimes latch button is in default mode. Uh, if it's not on, the pattern stops when I take my fingers off. If it's on, it basically sustains. Now here's the chord assign button. Let's go to a sound that... Uh, Let's make a chord. With uh, three note chords, it's pretty easy to just, you can assign them before or after pressing it. Like uh, here, I'll press chord assign. And then I press a rubber pad. Now that chord is on pad A. Now let's say I want to put a, a different chord. Oh, I didn't press the chord assign button. No matter, it still remembers. I'm gonna press pad two now. Now, if you want an eight note chord, better to press it first because uh, I'm gonna hold down this first key and that will sustain until I enter my other seven notes because uh, it will forget if I take uh, my finger off. And let's touch pad three. All right, let's do another one. Oh, I don't want that note. I want this note. It's okay, I'm not sustaining. I move on to this note. Touch pad four. So very easy to input chords. Right here you have the module control button. This cycles through the four karma modules if you have a combi or sequence going. But in a single program, you can only have one uh, karma GE generated effect or pattern.